Hi, I'm Michelle from Unicorn and Centaur, and today's video is 10 things you can do with your horse when you're too overwhelmed to ride. Disclaimer, I am not a health professional, and this video is not medical advice in any way. If you are hurting or ill, please seek treatment as this video is only intended to supplement care you are already receiving. If you're new to my videos, hi, I have depression and anxiety, and sometimes it affects me so much that I can't ride my horses. Of course, then I have all the guilt feelings associated with that. Uh, they're getting out of shape, they're developing bad manners, they're losing their affection for me, I'm being a bad horse mom. If those kinds of thoughts sound familiar to you, then here are my 10 favorite things to do with my horses when my health prevents me from riding. A common piece of advice is to simply sit in the pasture with your horse and enjoy their company. Find a comfortable spot, check for horse poop, and sit down and simply observe your equine friends. Just be there in your horse's presence. You can pray or meditate or just sit there and take deep breaths. Just sit and breathe and observe your horse's behavior over a period of time for as long as you can. While you're sitting out in the field breathing with your horses, now is a good time to walk the pasture. Are the fences all in good repair? Anything broken or dangerous lying around? You might find lost shoes or torn fly masks. Honestly, it's like a treasure hunt. Even if your horse has a very small turnout area or lives in a stall, you can still take some time to inspect the area where he spends most of his days. Seriously, just take selfies. Scratch their faces and necks, feed them treats, give kisses. If you take a billion of them, chances are at least one or two of them will have your horse making a ridiculous face. Or there will be a shot where you look really good. <laughs> but then you've got that on your phone when you need a pick me up later. Fill up a bucket with soapy water and clean your grooming brushes. Get your leather cleaner and wipe down your saddle and bridle. Brush the horse hair off a couple of saddle pads so you can wash them. Muck out a stall, scrub out a water bucket. There is always something to clean at a barn and maybe today that's all you can do and that's okay. Grooming can be very soothing for you and your horse. It's part of their normal routine anyway. You can make it as simple or elaborate as your health permits. Just a curry comb and a quick brush and pick out the hooves. Or you can spend hours putting Shoshin in the mane and tail and brushing everything out and wiping off his face with a little sponge. Braiding can be stressful, so if this is something that makes you crazy, don't do it. <laughs> but if braiding manes and tails is calming or soothing for you, then maybe that's all you need to do today at the barn. Do a simple running braid in the mane, French braid the top of the tail, or look up a fancy tutorial on YouTube and try it out. You're just practicing. You know there's a bunch of stuff you throw around just because you're in a hurry, so maybe today's the day you need to pick all that stuff up. Hang those bridles neatly, put the saddle covers on the saddles, stack the saddle pads neatly, throw out all those dang empty feed bags and little pieces of hay string, just tidy up a bit. Sometimes I just sit on Sonny while he grazes, just in his halter and his lead rope. I climb on up there and he just walks around and grazes and lets me do it. Not all horses are tolerant of this. Artax does not like this. He gets confused, does not want me sitting on him while he's grazing, uh-uh. But if your horse is okay with this, then it's a really relaxing thing to do. No trotting circles, no worrying about your position or your equitation. While you're up there, see if you can feel his breath with your legs, breathe with him. Just sit up there and enjoy being with your best friend. Go for a walk, not under saddle, but like with a halter and a lead rope. Walking is good for your body and your brain, so set a timer for 30 minutes, grab your horse, and go. If you have trails, that's my favorite. Just like walk 15 minutes down the trail and then 15 minutes back. But you can also walk in the arena doing circles and patterns or even just wander around the barnyard. If you are completely overwhelmed, do one thing. Do one thing on this list or make your horse perform one thing that he knows well and is confident doing, such as backing up or following you and stopping. Seriously, even if it is one thing, even if it is just to feed your horse a treat, do one thing. You're doing it. That's fantastic. It counts. Thank you for watching my video today. If you have a non-riding activity that you'd like to do with your horses when you feel overwhelmed, uh, feel free to drop it in the comments below. 
And if you would like more videos for extra equestrians, then subscribe to the channel and check out the description box below for more links. You can like follow me on Instagram and join the Facebook group Extra Equestrians. There's all kinds of links. You can just go down. And there's more videos over here. If you want to just click and watch, that's why I made you a bunch of videos just for you.